many years are you carrying you? Look a lad to me. Twenty-two, Major. Twenty-two. You want to die in the jungle. I was in trade in Barmouth. A chemist. I had every reason to believe I would always be a chemist. Two years ago, a great revival swept across Wales. It brought men to God. It brought me to India, sir. To push your religion on some bloody savages who wouldn't know Jesus if he came down all flaming white from those great windows in the abbey. The Bible charges us to go and tell, Major. The increase is not ours to give. You do-gooders, you come out here looking for God knows what. Upset the order of things. I am here by God's grace, sir. I have his permission. I am asking you for a guide to assist me up into the hills to make contact with the Mar tribe. The Mars don't fancy visitors, particularly white visitors. They are quite likely to lop off your head. The man who hangs your likeness over his door also inherits your services as his personal slave in the next world. So you see, you've got this. They are already religious. Chalo, boy, Chalo! This would be bad. In 1871, the Mars took 500 heads from a tea plantation less than a day's ride from the station. It took two columns of Assam rifles to tidy up and teach a lesson. Colonial policy absolutely prohibits your mucking about with the tribals. You will leave this district at first flight. You'll need the luck of the devil to get back to Chittagong in one piece. I will need the leading of God, sir.
wondrous land. Was born, my father told me of a white-skinned missionary who came to the Ma people. He was called by our tribe Mr. Young Man, and the stories he told changed our ways forever. My father gave his name to Jesus in the time of Mr. Young Man. And he is the preacher on this mountain. The forest is our home, and also the home of many wild animals. The royal Bengal tiger lives in our woods. This morning, I saw big tracks in the mud. We learn quickly that a tiger talks with his tail. If he does not put it all the way under his legs, then you know he wants you for food. Herds of wild elephants pass near our village, or right foot if they get angry. The elephant's tail also speaks to us. If it is up, you should be gone. It can squash a man before he can run. When we have church, I often think of Mr. Young Man. I wonder why he left us. Why he never returned to our hills. Monkeys are like noisy children. They like to follow me everywhere. You climb up a tree and swing with them. They think you are a monkey and go away. <laughs> Unless... <laughs>
Governor has sent for you, Chunga. But if colonial policy is to permit these tribesmen the liberty of preaching the Christian gospel any way they please, and permit them to organize their own churches... I cannot issue a permit for you to go into those hills. Then the Christians in those tribes should be moved down into the valley where my people can keep an eye on. Uh, biscuit, Dr. Abernathy? What, ma'am? Biscuit. Oh, thank you. Back home, we call these little things cookies. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you, Changa. My people have given me full reports on your activities in those hills. Yes, they have. And to say, Mana. Speaks only Marsha. The daffodil will translate for you. Yeah. Uh, ask this man who gave him permission to preach the gospel to his tribe. Antinia Christian Iloni. Tsonga says that in the year of the flowering bamboo, a white missionary who knew the Lusai language came to the Mar people. A missionary? Yes, sir. This missionary lived with the Mar in the Mar village and ate the Mar food and wear the Mar tribal clothes. Missionary Roberts, a Welshman, some years ago, defied orders, sneaked into the hills without a permit. When they caught him, he'd already gone native. Tell this good man that we're here to take the place of this missionary... Roberts. Roberts. Tell him that we will build a church for the Amar Christians. Welsh missionary Roberts, I ought to return to the colony. I begin to work Marmi puite tanchon malsom na tam tak kan sentir dona. Malsom na konga chuan. Marmi puite tan a malsom na kluba chu amania in a colony. Songa says that to the Mar people, no one can check the place of missionary robots. The greatest blessing you can bestow upon the Mar people is to let them alone. Excuse me. You and your people shall accept the help offered by Dr. Apanathy. Translate. Christian Lomnaril Rupuin in Pom Turania, in Pony say in Pom Reng Rengam. Patiana Throng, Chowing, Trampuina, Kambesiang. He says that he will accept help only from God. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. Uh, put him down, please. Quick, quick, Joyce.
Pa, why did they beat you? They do not know our ways. They think more people like animals in the forest. If only Mr. Young Man could come back, he would tell us what to do. He not coming back, boy. Never. He gone from India many years. Gone? But why? If we are to be free, someone must help us now. Someone who knows our ways. This person must write God's book in moral language. Can you do it, my father? I have not the learning. There must be someone who is proud to be more. How much learning would be needed? Nearest school is Churachanpur, 96 miles to the morning sun. They would know the answer. Cross Valley, many days journey, is the plantation of the English. There, your grandfather and other Mao warriors took many heads in battle. And can you see far end of valley, another mountain? Oh, yes, Pa. I have seen it many times. If you climb to the top of far mountain, what would you see? I do not know. You will see still another mountain. And can you see top of mountain where sky touches the earth? Yes. It is called by men the horizon. Wherever you journey, my son, the horizon is always just in front of you, beyond the next mountain. God's love is like the horizon, always there waiting for us, leading us on. I want to give my name to Jesus for this learning. I will follow him to the horizon. Chenkat and Muchawani. That night, my father gave me his only rupee. In the outside world, he said, a rupee could be traded for many things. Nangma hing choi moi tu nangma rong bol tu rau pui Nangma an boi shun rau chung le khen chu ti nga fe hi Tu in lam pui hai pui nangma My mother did not sleep the night before my journey She prayed for my safety But she could not hold me with her eyes Akha din in kom to te ni no a lal pa nangma an kham if elephant chases you, run straight ahead, then make sharp turn to right, straight again, and another right. Four times, and you wouldn't be back on your path. His trunk will smash me in a tree. All elephants left-handed. They cannot turn quickly to right. Always, <laughs> they fall to ground when they try. It takes an elephant a long time to get up, son. You will be far away. Remember, Satan is like rogue elephant. He is left-handed, too. In the outside world, he will try to lead you into sin. When evil tempts you, tell Jesus about it, and he will tumble Satan on his back. Will I know, Pa, when I am tempted? You will know. God keep you. I could not shame my father to look back a second time. But I strongly felt a need for this. Mm -hmm. 
Deep in the forest, great pythons hang like tree branches. When you pass below, they drop without a sound and make rings around you. Their muscles ripple and bulge and they can swallow you whole. Oh Lord, what learning could be mine in a great snake's belly? My mother gave me rice for the first night of my journey to the outside world. How did she know I would be too frightened to hunt? My father says all the animals in the forest are created by God that he gave each their ways. Would he favor me over the night creatures that sounded so hungry?
outside world. Chunga, you please stand up and can you read this? God is our refuge and strength. Very good. Your English is very good. And someday you will become a good teacher to teach English to the tribal children. W, w X, X Y, y Z. Z Very good, very good. Uh, Isaac. Name is calling you Isaac. What name is calling me? Ruchunga. Yes. Name is calling me Ruchunga. What other name is calling me? Isaac? Other name is calling me teacher. Seasons mark years for Ma people. Each spring, we take land from forest for rice planting. Spring of 1942, stories reached our village of great noise that came down from the sky. Workers who were there when the noise passed said it was all over them. The outside world had found our hills. Japanese were the terribles from a far away country. They marched across the border of Burma into India. Rumors said a mad chief called Hitler was going to kill every race, and Japanese were with him. <laughs> Allied forces said they had come to help us, but when we tried to speak against them, they show us power of their guns. Ma people had not seen so many white faces, and for the first time we thought how to lock doors and hide our women and children. Who is this? I found a driver who speaks some English, sir. Are you sure he's not armed? Unarmed, sir. Very well. Send him in. Do you speak English? What is your name? Wachunga. Now, you listen to me very carefully. We are dug in here with orders to maintain strict radio silence. Do you follow me? Let me put it another way. Can you find your way about well in these jungles?
message. Very good. Tell it well done. Ah, yes. Well, even soldiers get paid, so I'm prepared to give you a little something. One. Two. Oh, they're yours. You've earned them. Time scarcity. They're as rare as gold. And you know it. One. नाम की हम क्यों बे नाम क्या तेरा You speak English I do not understand you I do speak English No 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 don't leave yaar I could buy you a cup of tea but the tea here is tasteless all the good tea goes to the soldiers shortages Now at this very moment I could be enjoying this cigarette but then I would have nothing But in a fortnight I could make twice as much money with this as I gave you. What are you going to do with your rupees? I know you understand me because you are a businessman. Huh? You can make more rupees with those. Rupees save for school. But I forget your school, yaar. Now I've got a friend, a nice chap, a fisherman, lives up the river. Now he has got a boat, a large boat, but very little else. He's a poor man. Now, yesterday, I saw some dead mules, army mules, hmm? bloated, floating down the river. How they died, I don't know. But I can speculate. Floating alongside the dead mules were rucksacks, crates, barrels, army. So my friend uh, loaded them onto his boat, almost a day's work. 
Now, he would have gladly given them to me, but he's a poor man. He expects something for his labors. I've seen those goods with my own eyes. But I have no rupees. Malaria pills. People are desperate for malaria pills. But who can afford them? <laughs> School, huh? Saving for school. We have many books in our stall. Ma Trongen, like a bull in Chukadom. He says he wants to buy a book in Ma language. What's your journey? Still takes five days. Mountains and rivers have not moved. See very good here, Pa. Like rich merchant. Please. Pa, I've lived with soldiers. I know what money is doing. That much I learned from war. And now war is finished. All more people know. Chonga San not student. Ah. I can't be just poorest. Last month, I saw Shillong. I even ride bus in Impal. You give coin to driver and wheels take you everywhere. When I was a boy, you told me you work all day in outside world for one quarter rupee. Your son has 100 rupees. And 
you will have more. Does Jesus still have your name? Last seventh day, I preach about flood in time of Noah. Sanglian stood up in church. He said he did not believe that. Waters could not cover our mountains, he laughed. He walked away. Others laughed with him. If Sanglian could read Bible, he would know. So much learning will take years, Pa, and million rupees. It is your path to horizon. Go to Prime Minister. Delhi? He will help you. Prime Minister not see me? India, our country now. Tell him, more people, good citizens. Pa, you have to be big, important. God will help you. I will pray on mountain. I am here to see Prime Minister. Your pass, please. I know Prime Minister is in residence. The pass. I must see Prime Minister. As citizen of India, it is my right. Your pass. of Manipur, and I am here to see Prime Minister. I apply for government scholarship at university, but I receive reply, I am not eligible, because my tribe, to which I am, is not included in national census for tribes in Northeast India. Not included in the national census? No, sir. I don't know much about the Ma tribe. Khasis and Nagas, of course, you know, but not Ma. Oh, many Ma villages, sir. How many of you are there? Oh, well, uh, then how would you know? You haven't been counted. Pardon, sir. Ma tribe and neighboring tribes inhabit territory 4,000 square mile. 4,000 square mile territory, no government school. 4,000 square mile territory, no post office. Yeah. Uh, do me a favor. Write down all this information on a piece of paper before you leave. I promise you I shall read it. Thank you, sir. And I say, look here. You're a bright chap. We need to educate bright young men like you. We need them for government posts in tribal areas. I shall see to it that you get your scholarship.
Stop there. Is this you doing? Yes. Pachanga Padayate. Are you Indian? From the state of Manipur in Northeast. This piece of paper will tell you how you can have eternal life. White missionary Don. I never met a missionary. I have always been follower of Christ. You lie. All Indian Christians are converts. We got rid of Jesus Christ when we got rid of the British. You think because you are a jungle boy, you should have special privileges? I came here to study. I cannot afford to be angry with you. Nogdila. Chong. Chong. This is for you, sister. 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 Oh, sister. University of Allahabad. Dear Moy, thank you for answering with warm friendship letter in English I write to you at St. Mary's College in Shillong. It pleases me that young Mar lady is seeking higher education as I am also. At University of Allahabad, I must study hard to pass examinations, but I am thankful to God for opportunity. Dear friend Vachanga, please do not think my letters are only school girl way to practice English writing. There is one person I write to and pray for always, and it is Vachanga. If it pleases you, Continue to write English letters to me as you have for past one year, and it will please me to continue to answer. I, I want to say thank you, Professor Banerjee. I want to thank them for permitting me part in debate. From fellow students tonight, I learned many beautiful things. A beautiful philosophy, Bhagavad Gita. A wise and beautiful sayings, Buddha in Dhammapada. Of strong and beautiful teaching, the Quran. So I want to say thank you. I do not feel that fellow students want to say thank you to me for beautiful teaching of Jesus in Bible. My tribe is mostly Christian, two generations, with no help from white missionaries. Former times in my tribe, we cut heads off our enemies. Now, we pray for our enemies. Former time in my tribes, we make slaves a weakling. Now we help make weaklings strong. Suicide in former times, in my tribe, many, many, but now hardly ever. Changes did not come from white imperialists. Changes did not come from whips and guns, but from a book. I was a student once, so I know what it feels like to crave a good meal. You didn't know that about me, did you? Tonight, my dear Rushmila, my dear, dear friend, you are my guest. No more sitting in stalls, those dirty little tabas, all those hawking cries. Ban me cigarette, ban me cigarette. Lehman Bari. Made good money together. Look, there's a job I, I can offer you. House, car, percentage of profits. Well, 
Does that please you? My business enterprise is growing by leaps and bounds. Can we be partners again? I am offered scholarship for, for study in Scotland. Scotland? Do you want to be a student all your life? I want to... to uh, I want to accept. I can learn Greek language, Hebrew language. Greek language, Hebrew language, you can study in your spare time. Together, we could become rich, Rajunga. Do I at least tempt you? Yes. Well, what do you say? So, I do not say what Rochunga do. God say. How can anyone trust God? I mean, he's so infinite. Dear Moy, in Scotland, I study very hard Hebrew language and Greek language, so my tongue aches from making so many strange sounds. All my fellow students have white faces, so at first I cannot tell one from another. A letter to your brother I have written, Moi, asking for you in marriage according to customs of our tribe. I pray he will speak for me to your father and that your family will begin negotiations. How different my life would be if you were here. I never know like this cold weather and in whole world, how small we are, our tribe. It is a lonely road of study that the Lord has found for me, and each new door that opens seems to take me further from you. Dear Moy, now two oceans stand between us. How can I explain big city, Chicago? On street, walk in sea of faces, but no smiles when I pass. Still, Jesus knows Rochunga in great faraway country. That is magnificent secret. Dr. Bob Pierce has kept promise to sponsor my studies at small college near Chicago City. Only God's miracle could bring me so far. I live in Lady's house near school. Mrs. Bartlett, Sometimes work to pay for my room. In USA, they have machines for everything. All money says, in God we trust. I trust too, but never have enough this money.
to disturb your uh, rest. This session is history. <laughs> okay, Fred. See you after this. Hey, Paul. Oh, thanks. Keeping pace with the class, Mr. Podiati. It is a policy of this school to encourage foreign students, but uh, I cannot lower my standards, not even for you. I am most regretful, sir. New Testament theology can be quite demanding. Uh, perhaps you should rethink your program. Oh, no, sir. I must have every possible knowledge for my translation work. Your, your what? Ma people have own language for centuries, but only spoken, never written. The Lord's goodness allowed me to make grammar to help our people. Grammar? Yes, I, I found sounds of English alphabet work very well. With minor variations. Our R became your A. B stays B. Cho, C. This discovery allowed me to spell almost everything we say with English alphabet. Now, I am struggling through letters from the Apostle Paul. My head aches with so many shades of meaning. You are presuming to translate the subtle doctrines of the word of God for a primitive people? Are you working from the Greek? Yes, sir. This book is the only one that can lead my people into heaven. They must know who they are, what they can be, and where they will go. Pachunga, what is your denominational background? I'm afraid I have only Jesus. Simplicity has its strengths. <laughs> Rhonda! Rhonda! Oh. Bro? Yes? Bro, can I come in for a minute? 
for a second? Working, Charlie. Hey, come on, Ruth. It's Saturday afternoon here. Come on. You need to relax. How long are you going to keep up this grind, anyway? Lord's work, Charlie. Yeah. Come here, come here. Now, look out there. See, there's a whole big world outside this school and your job and this room. It's beautiful, Ro. I got you a date. Date? Charlie, I'm indeed grateful to meet your friend here. He's the cutest thing. Y'all know that? Y'all sure don't talk much. Charlie! One moment. Private? What's the matter? Excuse, please. One moment, just... Rhonda? What's the matter, Rob? Charlie, English, very difficult language. I study hard. In Churachanpur, little boy, I study English. In Allahabad University, I study English. In British Islands, I study English. In America, I study English. Charlie, what language is she speaking? I don't understand her. One word. What are you boys doing anyway? Talking dirty? Dear Moy, final books of New Testament stand open on my desk. Three years translating is nearing end. Great joy should be mine. But days come when upstairs room cannot hold me. I dream of Manipur Hills and long for mist of our mountains to push against my face. Most deeply I dream of the one who understands my heart. Chunga Podaite. I was told I was wanted in this office. Oh, yes, Mr. Podaite. This is addressed to the president, but he feels it's for you. Thank you. Dear sir, at a recent missions conference in Toronto, I heard that Dr. Bob Pierce is sponsoring a student. from Northeast India in the United States. Inquiries have led me to believe that such a student may be on your campus. Some years back, I lived and worked in the tribal areas of India. If such a student is indeed on your campus, I would be most appreciative of a name and address. Sincerely yours. Watkin Roberts. Father? 
Bartlett! Mrs. Bartlett! No! Oh, my oh, goodness! Oh. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all! Amen! Revelation 22, 21! Did you finish? Praise the Lord. <laughs> British and Foreign Bible Society, London, England. Thank you. How long will the journey take, please? Yeah, ship, two or three weeks. By air, it depends on the load, maybe four or five days. Air will be superior, then. Kind of hefty. Yeah, that'll be uh, $27.80. Ship might be better way. Yeah, that'll be $8.25. And what'd you do, rob a pinball machine? You want to register and share the contents? Yes. Well, you have to state the value. Three years' work. Okay. Uh, minimum insurance will be uh, $4.75. God will be insurance. Could you tell me, please, how many days journey to uh, Toronto, Canada? We have London here. Oh, manuscript goes to London, yes. But now, could you please send me to Toronto, Canada? 179 South Saginaw. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Youngman's story, Pa. Mm. 
Bist du toll. Hell beside us. <laughs> but he not treat Mars like other men from outside world. Told us, God, not white. He told us, Spirit of God sees it to our hearts. In eyes, there was strange searching. Excuse me. I am seeking Mr. Watkin Roberts. Yes? I'm Roberts. Who are you? I am Ruchunga, son of Jonga from Hills of Manipur. Who? Jonga's son. You. Please, sir. Surely one of us could think of something to say. Don't you agree? When I was a boy, you were a giant that once walked our hills. Every leaf in the forest trembled with your name. And when I was older, you were a dream that would not go away. The Lord has given me this moment to go back. I see you, Roshanga. And I see your father. Why did you leave us, sir? Why, why did you leave India? You, your work had just begun. Too many rules were being bent by my presence. Living under the same roof with the tribals, got me into a muddle with the other missionaries. I was expelled. You could go back now. The independence of India brought us religious freedom. No one could keep you away. The hills of Manipur demand strong legs, Rochanga. Mine seldom obey me anymore. Then we would carry you, Mr. Young Man, with honor from village to village. There are more than a hundred churches in our mountains. So many? And your, your early converts are now our elders and, and leaders. There is a Disana. Mm -hmm. Disana. Oh. Yes, he traveled with me, was my guide. And, 
and Tamara. Oh, I had a, I had a student named Tamara. He writes our music, the hymns we sing today. <laughs> Your own hymns? something just just a line well the light of eternity has shone in my heart Itakani min hir tirno kalal yesu. Don't let me forget that I belong to you, dear Lord. Iring na in min ring tirla. Let me live your life in me. Please. Try to understand my difficulty, Rochunga. I went back to my trade, a chemist, perhaps 40 years ago now. And I've always questioned. What an amazing Christ. He never seeks for our approval. Only for faith to believe that he is at work. But all is mystery. To put one's life in his hands is not to be led astray. I was allowed to carry the seed. And you, Rochang, young man, you are the first fruits of the harvest. My father prays every day on God's mountain. Chonga is a clear running stream. He is also a rock that will not move. My father has kept my brain from sleeping. How can I help? Our debt to you is so great already. Please, you must allow me to. Do you know where I could wash dishes in this country? Train tickets are very expensive.
Dear Vote Chang'a, my brother has received your communication and spoken on behalf of you to my father, who is pleased to be agreeable. Praying God's blessing on your long journey home to India and waiting. Pahina, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joba, Sam, Tubarai, Loraltohai, Tahala, Isai, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Chapla, Government House, Office of Prime Minister, Dear Rochunga Padayate, the Prime Minister will be pleased to grant you an appointment on Tuesday next at 3 o'clock to discuss your qualifications for a government post to the tribal areas. It is an honor for all our people. I promise you, Pa, a way has been opened for me to climb to the top. Stop where you want to be? This can be my platform to witness. The Mars need someone to speak for them. Our villages have no running water, electricity, no hospitals. I have given you what you want. Now why can't, why can't I have what I want? I've always shown you my heart. There is road where God is leading, but there are many other roads. Pa, I have to use all this learning for something. I have always prayed God would keep a great horizon open to you. We have to be careful about appointing officers anywhere, but even more so when appointing them to the tribal areas. Now you, as a tribal person, should eminently qualify. I will forward your application to the man in charge of tribal affairs. He will then grant you an interview. Uh, but you realize, of course, that the final decision will be his. I am anxious that our tribal peoples should advance, but I'm even more anxious that they shouldn't lose their artistry and their joy in life. Mr. Pudaite. Welcome indeed, Mr. Pudaite. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, you say it isn't a family name. It means uh, of the clan of Pudai. That is correct, sir. Good. Well, it makes a perfectly splendid surname. Do sit down, please. Would you care for a drink? Fruit juice? Whiskey? Uh, fruit juice, thank you. Gentlemen, I rather enjoy a whiskey in the evening. Fruit juice for the gentleman, please. Yes, uh, it's a little chilly in the evenings at this time of year, isn't it? Well, 
Mr. Pudaite. You come to me. Very highly recommended. And that pleases me as well, because we need qualified political officers in our tribal areas. And with you being a tribal yourself, well, that's a huge advantage. Yes, the responsibilities are numerous, but there are a number of rewards as well. Pardon me, Alan. I thought I'd bring this in myself. Oh, thank you, darling. Uh, this is Mr. Budayate, uh, my wife. This fruit juice is yours, I'm sure, Mr. Budayate. Thank you. Alan, I hope I'm not interrupting. No, of course not. Sit down. Well, good health. I was just about to mention to Mr. Budayate the benefits of the position we're discussing. Now, besides a more than adequate salary, you'll have an allowance for a bungalow, servants, staff, a car, oh, and yes, a jeep. <laughs> that pleases me very much for opportunity of serving tribal people. Yes. I see that you've studied abroad uh, in Scotland and in the USA. Now, that is remarkable for a tribal, isn't it? Prayers are answered. Did you read anthropology by any chance? That's my field. No, sir. Hebrew language, uh, Greek language. Most of the time I was in America, I was day and night translating. Today, my tribe has the Bible in Mar language. Darling, would you please? And. Was that the sole purpose of your translating while in America? Yes. I translate Bible in English language, but necessary to study sources in Hebrew language and Greek language. Quite an undertaking, I'm sure. Alan. Thank you. Well, Mr. Budayate. should have suspected from the way you came here dressed tonight. But it seems, it seems that in my enthusiasm to enlist qualified personnel, I, I'm guilty of overlooking certain things about Mr. Podiety. I am, most certainly. Well, it comes as a great disappointment to me to discover that you are a mission native. Some ill-informed, short-sighted white missionaries have ruined you. To the Mott tribe ever came only one white missionary. All right, one. Well, he's turned you out looking like something out of Bond Street or Savile Row. Sir. Sir. Missionary Roberts from Wales. You, you've heard of him? Yes. He came to our hills before I was born. He lived with our tribe like a brother. I don't believe that. He was preparing himself to translate the Bible into Mar language, but British Raj drive him out. Yes, certainly. Guns and Gospels. The British overtook this land with guns and Gospels. Happily, at least the guns have been withdrawn. Alan, may I remind you that there's freedom of religion in this country? That is not the issue. If Mr. Padayate is qualified... Ruth. Alan, if he is qualified... Ruth, please. Will you excuse us a moment? Dr. Montforce. Alan, the man is standing there. I cannot, in all good conscience, approve this appointment. Alan, that is unfair. I must consider what the missionaries have done to these tribals. While failing to consider what they may have done for them. The day will soon be gone. This is my father's mountain. He speaks with God here. And Rochanga?
Words will not come. I made so many promises, Moy. Promises I may never keep. You told me to never doubt in darkness. What God has taught us in the light. Your husband has become a good student of the world. Can a mistake not often be a, a stepping stone? Moy, could you stay here for the rest of our lives? The word of God has been sown like wild grass over our hills. It pleases the Lord for me to marry a seed planter. It also pleases me. I have heard it said that a wise man will travel many miles to find a hill girl when her beauty matches the sky. Rochunga and Moy Pudayate have founded more than 80 schools, a medical clinic, and a vocational training center for the peoples of Northeast India. Today, 85% of the Ma people can read and write. Since 1972, with the help of many, the Podiates have mailed millions of Bibles to all names listed in the telephone books of the major cities of India and to such other countries as Pakistan, Burma, Sri Lanka, the Philippines, Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Afghanistan, and Hong Kong. The list has no end. The seed planting goes on.